This is a quick video to explain how the servants uh, functionality works in recipes in a tree admin. So we have this example recipe in here for a large turkey roasted in an oven. And this is basically, uh, it's very simple. It's just one turkey bird, which is five kilograms. And we are avoiding all the vegetables and stuff to keep it simple. And this would take three hours to cook. And we are saying that this has 10 servings. And what this means is that um, normally you would want people to eat one-tenth of uh, this uh, recipe as a meal. So one-tenth of five kilograms would be 500 grams of foods, which could be one portion. And when you create a recipe like this, you can see in the macronutrients tab, it has over 5,000 calories, and this is five kilograms of food, it's a large amount. And Normally, you will want to add a much smaller portion uh, in a meal plan. So that's what the servings feature is for. When you type a number in here, uh, this will enable you to choose then in the meal plan if you want to add one, two, three, four, etc. servings up to a maximum of 10 of this recipe. Right, so let's see how this works in a meal plan. When we create a meal plan, from scratch, um, we can add a recipe like this turkey we have in here and by default Nutriamin will choose one serving although you can click and change the quantity to anything you want up to the 10 servings so if you choose 10 servings this will be the full recipe with 5000 plus calories and one serving like it is now if we go to macronutrients we can see that the the number of calories is 10 times less because you're saying here to your client, I want you to eat one serving of 500 grams out of the total 10 servings that there are in the recipe, which is 5,000 grams. If you go to the recipes tab, the recipe will include all 10 servings uh, that you created because you can, um, you can basically, when you cook a turkey, you will put the, the whole uh, turkey into the oven and uh, it will cook there for three hours and it's very, it would be very impractical if um, someone had to cut the turkey into 10 chunks and then cook 10 times individually, three hours each, it would take 30 hours. So normally, um, many recipes, not just uh, for roasting, but any kind of broth or any kind of uh, large amount of food you're cooking, um, you can cook a large amount and then divide it into different uh, portions or servings. Um, for example, if we copy this meal, three times. You could, for example, give this to a um, to a client and say, uh, on this particular day and meal, uh, you can eat one serving of the recipe, but then uh, on this other uh, meal is a different serving, etc. You can make them add up to 10. Uh, you can put this into several days. And uh, this is just a dummy example, uh, like nobody would eat uh, just turkey all day, but um, it's to illustrate the concept. You can, um, and there are many meals that can be batched into different amounts over the week. So, and if you want the um, quantity to be the whole 10 servings, the, um, the amounts will uh, be much higher. So now in here is over 7,000 calories, but it costs, there is in total 14 servings of this turkey. Right, finally, uh, if you find these uh, servings confusing or you don't want to use them for whatever reason, another option is to uh, create a recipe and just say that there is one serving only. So this way, when you add this recipe to a meal plan, uh, the numbers that you see here will match exactly uh, what is added in the meal plan even though uh, in here it says four servings. And that's because this is a little trick. The recipe name, this is treated just as plain text by NutriAdmin. So you can enter whatever you want in here and it will not affect calculations. But the servings, if now I say two servings, when I add this to a meal plan, it will add one serving by default and these numbers will be halved. And then um, I'm gonna just illustrate. Um, I can save this into the I'm gonna save this with two servings. So we saw in here that the macronutrients are 180 calories. Let's add this to a meal plan. Creating from scratch. 
So um, add recipe, add this omelet. So now by default it's adding only one serving, which is small, and the number of calories is uh, 90, which is half of 180. And now if I want the whole recipe, I can choose two servings, and now it will say 180. So basically, uh, you can use uh, the servings feature to um, separate different servings into the meal plan and to uh, keep uh, the recipe in here contains all the servings and the um, recipe in here, you can change how much uh, of the recipe you want in a particular meal.